Um, so I'll just uh, paraphrase uh, what was in the statement, uh, combining it with the information uh, from the family and from other journalists. Uh, there was an interview today uh, where uh, the brother of Mo Blessing, together uh, with Simbachi Kanza, had a call uh, with um, the Chisango, with Chisango, uh, he's called Simba Chisango, the relative of Piers Chisango, uh, who is the chief uh, suspect or chief perpetrator uh, of the forced disappearance. Uh, we also saw um, investigations that came uh, through the Zim Life um, news channel. We also saw um, a, some updates coming from the Change Radio, uh, and we also had updates coming from the ground. So to give you a timeline of how it happened, um, uh, first, uh, uh, on the 24th of May, uh, around uh, evening time, around 8, 9 p.m., uh, a friend uh, whose name was uh, mentioned uh, came to the uh, house uh, of uh, more blessing and asked to be escorted uh, to buy some drinks um, at the local shops. Um, when they, after finishing to buy some drinks, a uh, more blessing uh, is said to have left earlier uh, than the friend. So the friend was left inside, then more blessing went outside. When the friend came outside, uh, then um, they, that uh, more blessing was being attacked by uh, bricks uh, by these uh, uh, guys like um, uh, Pierce and crew. Uh, and she had fallen um, uh, unconscious, something like that. And then uh, they took her and bundled her into the car and he sped off. Uh, that's the last time that he, more blessing was seen. Uh, in the morning, uh, the friend informed the family about what had happened, uh, that he, this is what happened. Uh, a police report met. Uh, then um, Kisango, uh, the one who had an interview with uh, Simbach Kanza today, uh, then he was uh, briefly taken by the police and then was uh, released. Uh, then um, uh, after the release, uh, we on 26, uh, on the 26th of May, uh, the family uh, went to the police station uh, together with uh, uh, the MPs for Chitungwiza, Honorable Stole, uh, whose number has been provided on the party secular. And they found out that the docket uh, was missing. Uh, then uh, they were referred to uh, Beatrice uh, Police Station, uh, being told that the the the, uh, the 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 issue cannot be solved in Chitungwiza because Nyatsimbe Nyatsime is not under Chitungwiza. So the police station uh, to which they were referred is 130 kilometers away from the uh, area where the crime. Uh, happened. So uh, that's 130 kilometers. Uh, we don't know the intention, but that's what happened. And um, so uh, we, we held a prayer session uh, here. Uh, in fact, two prayer sessions um, right here on this platform. And we, we, we prayed for, 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 uh, for more blessing and everything. And we wanted to, if we are going to get more blessing at any uh, uh, any time soon. Um, after um, uh, our prayers and everything, we had advice as well on the platform uh, that since the perpetrators are known, uh, why can't we get the pictures? Why can't we get their numbers? Uh, why can't something be done even by the police? Uh, so uh, the family and the uh, some comrades on the ground went on to... Um, uh, investigate. We got in touch with journalists, we got in touch with the people on the ground, uh, we got in touch with some uh, sympathizers and family friends, and they were all on the case. Uh, and the result of that was that um, we have managed to find the phone number uh, of uh, um, Chisango, the one who is still uh, in the area, and uh, that number, uh, we availed it uh, to the journalists, uh, precisely uh, in this case, uh, Chikanza Simba, and uh, they, we 
the family, the brother, uh, Mr. Washington Ali, then went um, uh, on an interview, on a live interview with the uh, Simbatikanza today, and they called uh, one of the Chisanko brothers. Um, uh, and uh, from the call, um, definitely it's clear that um, the perpetrators are known. Uh, he mentioned that there is uh, Piers Gambo. Uh, the information and the name, as you saw it, uh, it came from none other than uh, Chisango himself. He said that Piers Gambo knows what happened. And he said there's another young man uh, who was with him as well. Uh, and they are both on the run, uh, both Piers and uh, uh, the other person whose name was not mentioned. They are both on the run. Um, and... Um, uh, from another angle, which is from the uh, uh, party angle, uh, Piers is said to be in Urungwe right now, uh, or, uh, or I can say is alleged to be in Urungwe. We don't know still there uh, if he has not yet uh, started running to another place. Uh, and a team uh, has been sent as well to Urungwe to go and uh, search for uh, Piers because we want to know where more blessing is. Uh, from what Chisango was saying, uh, he was claiming that he actually uh, he thinks that the person is alive. Uh, since he is close to the information, we are hoping that indeed when we find more blessing, uh, she will be alive. Uh, so that's some of the information. For those who don't know uh, Piers Jambo, we have posted the picture of Piers Jambo uh, on our timeline. You can go and look at him. Uh, for those who have use of Pierce, uh, of uh, the brother Chisango's number, uh, you can get in touch. The number is available. If you want to call him, if you want to quiz him, if you want to investigate or anything, uh, the number is available uh, for you to, um, to, to be able to uh, talk uh, to him. So those are the investigations uh, that have gone on up to this moment and we are hoping that uh, very soon uh, we will have more blessing we also saw a tweet from nick mangwana uh, saying that uh, the police is going to issue a statement about the disappearance of more blessing ali we haven't seen that statement yet we hope it comes soon and uh, instead of a statement we actually want them to produce more blessing ali more than uh, they produce um uh, press statements because their press statement is not enough. We want uh, the, the the missing people uh, to be to be uh, uh, back, and um, that's uh, 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 our advice uh, to Zan PF. Uh, they 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 maybe they thought that nothing is going to happen to them. They thought that they would just take someone and uh, disappear with the person. Uh, that period is definitely over uh, where we allow our activists and our people to just disappear. We are not going to have another Zamara. And uh, very soon, uh, we are also going to, as a program of action, in case they don't bring back more blessing Ali, there's a program of action that is going to come very soon. Uh, we are actually going to give them uh, an ultimatum very soon uh, to bring back more blessing. And we are going to take very serious action against them. That's what we can uh, say for now without uh, divulging uh, the, the detail. So thank you all for coming. And um, the discussion here, um, uh, we cannot have another Zamara. And abductions have to stop. Violence have to stop. We are not going to allow it to continue. Uh, so uh, I would like to welcome uh, my sisters, Sister Diamond and Sister Beauty, uh, to come and join uh, in the discussion. Uh, you can also take the mic, come join in the discussion. Uh, then uh, we, 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 we will see uh, how we can uh, resolve some of the uh, um, situations. If there are questions, uh, I will answer all those questions that I can answer from the information that we have available. Uh, but we thought giving you an update would be very, very important. Thank you so much. Uh, over to you, Sister Beauty, then after you, Sister Diamond. Let's discuss. Uh, thank you so much, host. Um, I've just seen a statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I scope a timeline, yeah, more 
which is saying that it's a police statement on the matter. And according to that uh, uh, statement that they've released, they are pinning everything on this uh, on this guy, Anunzi and Pai, Pai or something. And they're saying, and they've sort of cleared any involvement of the Chisango brothers, according to that statement. But they don't go into telling us what have they done with the Chisango brothers. Have they taken them in for questioning? Have they discussed anything with them? It just seems like they're clearing the, 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 the name Yana Chisango in that letter. And it's not really getting to the details of Kuti. Where is more blessing? They are sort of dismissing everything and just saying, Kuti, according to this, according to that, it's just like I saw, so Chisango is cleared. But our number, we are taken into custody. They've not questioned him. They have not even gone to investigate or to check things on his property or anything. They're just basically speaking, Kuti, we are clearing this guy's name, which is unfortunate. Yes, yes, very, very unfortunate indeed. Uh, I can see, I think, uh, Sister Diamond has uh, temporarily uh, dropped. Uh, let's go to Elder, uh, Elder Diamond Benura. Then from there, we go to the Duke of Shurugi. Uh, go ahead, Elder. Uh, thank you so much, my brother. And uh, may I take this opportunity to welcome uh, everyone who is on this platform. Yeah, it's a touching issue. Like in the afternoon, I was in the Varakashi space whereby they were pinning everything on us when they were saying, uh, why is it that the adoption, uh, the abduction occurred when President was in Davos? It's the triple C who are trying to tarnish the image of the government or the image of the president. But my question is, is that Chesango guy a triple C member? And the answer is no. And the perpetrators are not triple C. Uh, so why are they pinning everything on us? Right, that's number one question. The number two aspect is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, like you said, my brother, we must not have another Zamar. I know they are here. I see Varakash are here. They are good at spying. They are listening to everything that you are saying. But thank God they are here. They are listening to us, guys. Varakash, who are here, please take this information to your platforms and tell them that we are not going to have another Zamara situation in Zimbabwe. We are sick and tired of these abductions. And while least the government is not doing anything about it and justice is not saved on the people who are disappearing, who are being abducted. <laughs> so we are saying enough is enough. Please, Warakash, take this information to your superiors and tell them that the citizens are saying no. You think what you are doing is good or you are trying to uh, instill fear into the people, but you don't know that peer, people are... You are even getting more people away from you because you are exposing your ruthlessness, which is causing the people to hate you more. They will pretend as if they love you, but they don't love you. You will get the shock of your life when the people go into the ballot box and they will prove you otherwise, whilst you are thinking maybe they are yours. So we are saying stop this uh, abductions of people and stop the intimidation of people and stop the killing of people in broad daylight that is uncalled for in a democratic government as you claim to be democrats while it's on the act of fact you are dictators and you are a one-part state so we are saying enough is enough as the citizens of zimbabwe Apart from being the triple C, we are also the citizens of Zimbabwe. So we want nothing of justice being saved on our beloved sister, more blessing Ali. We request the return of our sister in one piece. Otherwise, a chimerical catharsis is grimacing. Otherwise, we are going to take the law into our own hands and there's going to be something else if and if you don't bring her in one piece. That is what I'm saying on behalf of the citizens of Zimbabwe. We are sick and tired of these nonsensical actions of the so-called regime, of the so-called democratic government, which is unfair on its citizens. I thank you. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Elder there. Uh, indeed, I, I can see the... Um, the, 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 the bogus policy statement that they've issued here, uh, which is um, so unfortunate. 
uh, it's a, it's a very very bogus uh, statement that they are saying here, uh, where they are saying that the two people uh, were former boyfriend and girlfriend and they just uh, dragged each other into darkness and disappeared. There's no one. There are no two people who can just drag each other into darkness and disappear. It's um, it's crazy. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go to the juke. Juke, go ahead. Uh, if Duke Good is evening, there, everyone. Uh, let's go to the police. Okay, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, allow me to to say this. Okay, uh, this is this is so disturbing. No, uh, getting off the meditation. This kind of behavior from ZANPF is is equated. We can equate it to to Boko Haram per se. This is this is, is, is satanic. Diabolic, so to say. No, I always I emphasize on the issue of toxic politics from Zana PF. They are not peace lovers. You know, they are full of it. They are, they are. You no, know, well, I am running short of with How can I explain Zana PF? Detractors. They are saboteurs. They are. No, you know, it, 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 they can be equated to, to, to Satan himself. How come? How come? You know, you know, no, we're trying, we, we you know, they go around he, speaking blasphemy to say so. Huh? Re engagement. What, what? What, 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 if we first degree, okay, uh, this is very disturbing. Huh? Uh, but uh, uh, what I age uh, the citizen is this: let us stand together, let us put our heads together, let us let us say with one word, we don't want another Zamar. We don't want another Zamar. This 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 one we cannot tolerate anymore. Okay, now can you kill your own? How can you abduct your own? This is if we say thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I. Just I just want to hear the, hear the grief that is within me. I, I, I cannot stand this unpaid anymore. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, Juke. Uh, indeed, um, no one can stand this unpaid uh, anymore. And these abductions and, uh, you know, uh, the, the police uh, 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 is so infuriating with the way that they write their, uh, their statement. Uh, because um, you wonder, can can someone with a family uh, just uh, mm. disappear into darkness and not even notify the family that I won't be coming home or something is uh, going on uh, uh, with me uh, after going to buy drinks uh, at a shop? Then you just disappear. You don't even tell people uh, that I'll be back or anything. And you think that someone uh, is safe. Can they remember it? And the number of their child or something like that? It's... um. It's it's crazy. Anyway, let's go to the political uh, uh, harbinger, the uh, political. Uh, just like I English, ne, ne Shona, Thank you for giving me this platform. Uh, it's just nothing about life. To... It's crazy. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Right. Zuguichi uh, kaku kunyatime. In fact, what is is taking place in Nyatsime? Uh, there's a lot of things happening there. There are ZANU PF uh, thugs who controls that area, who goes around intimidating people, telling them what to do. In fact, one of the masters is always a single badare area. So those guys are what to in one way opposition. But in in issue in, in particular issue, yeah, yeah, more blessing Ali. It's a political issue. It will include our sensitive area. There are people like Chibanguza. People are not willing to, 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 to tell that Chibanguza is also involved in this issue. But there is issue between Chibanguza and those guys who abducted this lady. And uh, there are eyewitnesses who witness this abduction. Uh, they made a report at Harry Base in Nyatsime. There was a docket, a docket that disappeared. 
it's, it's this issue is clear and purely a political issue even if they try to downplay it but it's a political issue and this lady was abducted at chibanguza and chibanguza is a full member of zanu pf so they, they cannot lie that uh, it was his lover or whatever the, those those allegations are totally out of question this lady was just abducted and people know who abducted him and they've made a report and the police at the first place they were not willing to participate in this issue they were saying some sort of words that were so discouraging because they are needed to sign pf if you if you if you get beaten and if you go to to report to police station and if you say you're from the opposition they will get reluctant they will not deal with you in fact they will try by all means to turn the the issue against you that's what really happened people went to the base police base and reported that a lead was abducted and a docket was 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 opened but later within eight hours the docket disappeared and the statements changed and the police were no longer willing to to participate and then when 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 uh, uh, Jack, when Job Scala went there, the police were there and the Zanu PF thugs were intimidating people in front of police and Job Scala was there. So whoever is saying that there is no abduction, it's just a Zanu PF nar narrative. They kill, they abduct, but when you confront them, they will turn the whole issue against you. This is what is really happening. If you, you go to their Twitter space, they are saying a lot of words which are irrelevant to the point. This lady was abducted and it was a political thing uh, i think i've said much thank you uh thank you so uh, much you so uh much. political, political. Uh, for the words that you have said it uh things uh as you um uh say uh, that uh, reports were made and it's very unfortunate that uh, i'll read this statement uh this response uh, of for uh, our um, uh, spokesperson uh, to the police statement and also Honorable Scala as a response uh, to the uh, police uh, to the statement. So here, um, uh, uh, Sister Fazai says, uh, it's a sad day when a police service rushes to shield a political party and to display a liturgy to secure the life of a citizen who has been violated. The Constitution requires the police to be nonpartisan, uh, investigate the crime, and secure the life of the citizens. We need new leaders. Uh, then, um, uh, Honorable Wiwa said this. Uh, this is complete uh, bullcrap. Ponyati. Uh, P.S. Jamba is a well-known uh, Zanu PF tag here in Chitungwiza. He is half-brother to Simbachi Sango, and they have been working hand in ha hand in gloves to terrorize innocent uh, citizens in Nyatsime. Uh, there are several uh, pending reports uh, and um, uh, before the course of law about their terrorism uh, in the community. It is really embarrassing that the police would create a lie that more blessing Ali was in love with a Zanu tag, uh, Pierce Jamba, when it is a complete lie. Please bring back uh, more blessing. Your attempt to absolve Chisango is embarrassing and a clear demonstration that you protect perpetrators of violence. It is pathetic to lie. Uh, it is a pathetic lie uh, to suggest that it was a love affair conflict when it was clear political violence. We live and stay here in Chitungwiza. At Uzirwe, don't lie to the nation. It is purely political violence. Apprehend the culprits and then uh, and let them show us where Mobi is. The statement should be uh, known to the world that Zimbabwe police trivialize the violence perpetrated against opposition figures and um, protect the warlords of ZANPF. So this is a statement uh, from uh, uh, Honorable uh, Job Scala, who was at the police station, uh, who went to see the family, uh, who has been instrumental uh, in going, even he went for the search, uh, together with the uh, Honorable Stole uh, in the bush and wooded areas of Nyatsime, right? So, uh, definitely, uh, whatever the police is saying, they are saying it to shield ZANU-PF, they are saying it to shield the Chisango brothers, 
Chisango himself in the afternoon uh, confirmed that he knows about uh, uh, that Pierce and another person did this, and uh, meaning that they know uh, what uh, uh, they, they, they are doing. But we just want to tell them that uh, we are not going to stop at anything until uh, our sister is found. We are not going to stop. In fact, the pressure is going to be nothing they have ever seen. Um, right, let's go. Uh, Sister Beauty, uh, over to you. Uh, Coast Beauty, are you there? Okay, it seems like uh, she's uh, away uh, from... Uh, from uh, I'm here now, I'm here now, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. So, Sister Beauty, uh, what, what's, what's your take on the um, current events uh, and everything and on the policy statement? Uh, how do you feel when you see uh, the police trying to shield or shielding a political party and uh, 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 absolving um, uh, uh, abductors of any guilt? How, how do you feel? How do you take this, this action by this police? I am mean, actually outraged. I'm going to put it on here. I that statement. Yawa yawa issue out. I could just not believe what the police statement. One in that statement, they said that they are going to be a married but they are going to be shy. And then they also go on to say that they are going to be a shy after fighting an incident of violence. They are going to be a shy after fighting an incident of violence. That's an incident of violence. And then they go on to say, And they don't even go on to tell us what, what investigations have they done. So far, all they've done is they have an account of an incident. They've not gone on to tell us, since this has been reported, what steps have they taken to, to, to find uh, more blessing Ali? Apana kana statement ya kuti paka kwa SH. Apana kana statement ya kuti waka waka sunga vanu waka interrogator A, B, C, N, D. Apana kana statement ya kutara kuti other than the lady, the friend, arkunzi the only eyewitness according to them, but they've just said kuti pa bawa, pa nunga na vanu, pa mabawa, especially in those areas. Kune waningo wari pa msiga. Kune waningo wari kukurunzi kuchi kuseri kwa choku nege uchi gochkwa. Nege kune the ladies of the night and the boys of night. All these people are eyewitness. Uh, are people we witnessed this event? Was this event? Yaga itika pavan. I na kuitika kure nevan. Kana chita nzi muna kato rwake ndes kwa kudondo. That already implies an abduction. Saka, why are you not trying to find this pious guy wajo? Wait, asari missing oe re pious wajo. Maybe that's the other question I would ask you. Guti, pious wajo arbu sikana wako are. Kati arbu wo missing. So pious has been reported to have uh, fled to Hurungwe. Uh, Hurungwe area. That's where Pius is and the team has been sent uh, to Hurungwe uh, to go and find him. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, our team, our triple C team has been sent to Hurungwe, not, not police team. Second, the police can write a she on this case. It's like they're just sitting. Yeah, the their statement actually acknowledges them not doing their job at all. Yes, what, what ones are missing? The thing that the police have done is to make sure that there's no justice. The first thing they did was uh, to make sure that the issue is posted from Chitungwiza, which is nearby, uh, to a Beatrice police station, which is 130 kilometers away. They said that the Nyatsimbe doesn't fall under Chitungwiza. Uh, it falls under uh, uh, Beatrice. So people have to go with the uh, uh, Chitungwiza issue to Chivu for it solved. So that's a that's a, a, a blatant attempt. Ah, wait, Kuchi, Bufuji, after Beatriz. Yes. Dokne station, nearest the station. Yeah, that's where they want this issue to be solved. They don't ah. want it to be done in a, in a nearby police station. That's what that's they That's nonsensical, because uh, yeah. there's a spread of area already. That, that's rather ridiculous, really. Yes, it's, it's very ridiculous. And the other thing that they managed to do was to do a catch and release. Uh, of Chisango. And remember, these guys have got pending cases that are actually for the courts of violence. Did they arrest him for questioning? They just took him and released him. Nothing happened to him, and then uh, they made the docket disappear. Did they even search his property for come to Rapash? I no, 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 no. I don't think police is capable of doing that. It's uh, they They're are supposed to do that because he's a missing person. Yeah, 
uh, what they do is like they can produce statements, but they can't produce our relatives when they disappear. We we don't want statements. Like I said, we don't want policy statements. We want to see more blessing back, not policy statements. Uh, champion, uh, your take on the issue. It's very, very simple. And it, uh, how can you have a situation whereby uh, the permanent secretary for information not ah, police are released a statement? Do you think it's an it's an isolated event? That's that's my question, which everyone has to be with. The next thing is the police as an institution, what does it tell you if you have a situation like this that we do have got a police that does not prioritize the life of a person whilst the constitution on its own says something about the safety and the right to life so you can you can you can see that uh, we, we we our our, our institution police has been changed from 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 ZRP to MRP I, I i don't want to 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 say what does MRP mean but you just have to know that it has changed. Go to any institution right now, whether you are, you are, you are talking about ZEC, you are talking about um, the, 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 the Zimbabwe Defense Forces and everything. It's now a political party on its own. That's why Vanzi Chikukai statement kutimu produce Titi Vare Madinga Edoya. Ndoso haru kutawurira na ipapa. Because inina, I don't think you could <coughs> Permanent Secretary Chai Chai Unga Maira Mundo Tizanzi Kwa Isi I'm a police I release a statement about the police I release a statement within an hour What does that tell you In terms of independent institutions And even institutional independence In terms of, 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 of delivering services to the people So this is just a Kudakutampa na wanu But what they are failing to understand All of them is that Human life is superior when it comes to anything. There is no political party that is superior to human life. There is no political party that, is, that has got ownership to anything besides promoting human life. This is proving that our, 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 our government itself is a terrorist organization like what even others from the history of books have said. It is. And whatever they are trying to do does not make sense at all. Instead of them respecting human life, they are disregarding it. So it's something that is worrying. And it's something as well that may that of which they want to use as a, as a way of trying to threaten people uh, using each and every time. But let's be let's be let's be human and allow human life to be respected on this earth and in our land as Zimbabweans. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you. definitely. Thank you, champion. I offer to you all. Yes, thank you, thank you, Sister Beauty. Uh, KK, you requested the mic. Uh, what's your take? Uh, thank you, host. Um, look, I, I'm still to understand. Uh, we've gone through cycles and cycles of this. And uh, while no human life should ever be taken, um, uh, um, what should I say? We should take all human life seriously. But uh, uh, this is a clear case which is coming out needing more investigation. And I believe we are all on the right path. Sorry, I, I believe the, the institutions that we that are there are on the right path to uh, to, uh, to, 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 to to unlock what, whatever happened here and bring it to, to, to everybody. But I, I see a situation of us continuing to to sort of uh, uh, before even we know exactly what it is that transpired, the the, the institutions that were uh, that are supposed to. Uh, okay, uh, so we heard what K was trying to say. We know what transpired. It's not like the abduction took place when the person was uh, 
uh, was not really, there were eyewitnesses. We know what transpired. The family knows what transpired. Uh, the police uh, were not there when the issue transpired. They were not willing uh, to uh, uh, to do anything about it. They are in a statement six days later because of political pressure. They are not issuing a statement because uh, uh, of the respect for human life. They are doing this because they know that we are not going to allow allow them to sit idle and do nothing. So if you are going to come here and claim that we don't know what happened and the police is doing a great job and all that, uh, kindly know that we are not going to tolerate such nonsense. Uh, it's, uh, it's very unfortunate if you think this is your playground uh, to come and uh, practice your, your, your political parlance and uh, uh, use some semantics to try and confuse the people. We are not going to have that at all. This is not, we are talking about a uh, human life here. We are talking about someone who has disappeared for six days without trace. And you come and say that the police is doing something. A, we are talking about dockets which disappeared. We are talking about a relative being referred 130 kilometers away from the, from the scene of the crime. Do you know how many police stations you have to pass within 130 kilometers? How many targets you have to pass? How many police roadblocks? And you come here and that the police is doing a, a great job. Uh, don't try it here, uh, 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 comrades. We see you in there. Uh, don't go. Don't find. Uh, don't try to find an excuse of opening a space uh, to lambasters for chucking you out uh, of our spaces. If you are here to listen, uh, we want you to go and tell Chisango and Pius and uh, your bosses uh, that uh, we are not going to take it. We are not having it. Uh, so uh, please respect us. Uh, uh, over to you, uh, Sister Patricia. Thank you so much and, and thank you for putting on um, this space again and thank you to all those that have spoken previously. Uh, good morning, good evening, good day, wherever you are. Um, I, I think, you know, finding ourselves back at this point is, is one of the saddest and lowest points for us as citizens. Um, and, and we just want to remember the Ali family we continue to pray with them that God would give them comfort and peace during this very difficult time. So when we have people like the previous speaker coming to speak in the manner in which he did, they are basically trashing um, the, the seriousness of the matter at hand. This is someone's life, as you rightly said, uh, host. We're talking about a life here. We're talking about a mother, a sister, a daughter, a friend, a colleague that is very much loved. Her family are worried about her. We are worried about her. And the behavior of the regime is absolutely and totally unacceptable. And like Beauty said earlier, I too am outraged. And, and Zimbabweans too should be outraged. And anyone that has respect for human life should be outraged. There should be thousands of retweets of this message. But, but you know, People just watch from the terraces, so to speak. They open their curtain and they peep from behind the curtain and don't get involved. Uh, and, and, and I think that there is something that we as Zimbabweans need to really reflect on, on how we can get involved and participate in, in these issues when they arise, because it is through that participation that the regime will take notice. So they've issued uh, the statement, which we know uh, doesn't mean anything, because they've felt the pressure can you imagine if there were 300,000 voices speaking out against this behavior? They would have found more blessing and they would have found this pious and some form of justice uh, would be taking place uh, at the moment. I think what is also sad is, is that there's a, a lack of rule of, of law uh, in Zimbabwe and the regime kills at will. If we look back to Gukra Hundi, the attitude that, 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 that the regime behaves by today is the attitude that the very people that perpetrate and send out people to do these things did back in the 80s with Gukra Wundi. There's absolutely no difference in the thinking um, of, of, of the regime leaders, uh, unfortunately, uh, in our country. It, it may have taken a different form of how they're abducting and killing and uh, but 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 i think that the attitude is similar to to the one bucket kukra hundi where there's an absolute lack of empathy they don't respect human life they don't care it's about that small group of individuals 
and what they can get away with. It's misplaced privilege. And so they use the privilege of the gun, the privilege of the army, because they know if we go to the streets to protest tomorrow, they will unleash the army on us and people will die. And so they are using the privilege of the gun. It's, 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 it's like jungle politics uh, doing uh, what they want to do and, and getting away with it. And also the fact that they know that international governments can't really intervene because they describe themselves as a sovereign nation. So they have their own powers uh, and, and, and people can't go in there and tell them what to do. They can speak out, uh, they can talk to them behind the, 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 the doors, uh, but you know we know that there's, there's never going to be any change. And the police are captured. Uh, the leadership of the police are captured they are weak, they, 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 they can't, they fail to act. Uh, and so we are, we are in a really, really vicious circle. Um, and so that police statement uh, and, 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 and Nick Mangwana's tweets are, 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 are anarchistic behaviors. And so this is, this is the form of psychology of victim blaming. And so they are placing the burden of what's happened on more blessing rather than dealing with, 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 with the victim. And, and they accuse, uh, the, and, and this happens, you know, when, when, when there is sexual assault or, or violent assaults that are uh, committed against women, that is turned around and the women, the woman is shown in a bad light. And so they're trying to talk about the fact that she'd gone out, that she was drinking, that she was in a relationship. And all of those things, we just need to throw them out of the window because it's a psychology of victim blaming and it's very narcissistic and we cannot allow it to happen. We are not going to take it on board and we refuse it and we don't want it. And we have a message for Nick Mangwana. To Nick Mangwana, you know, you are, I think you are one of the most saddest and pathetic uh, individuals uh, that I have ever uh, 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 come across. And I know that he's going to get these messages. Nick Mangwana lives in England for three quarters of his of his time. So for those that didn't know, Nick Mangwana spends most of his time in England. So when he's tweeting sometimes, he's actually tweeting from England and he spends less time in Zimbabwe. Nick Mangwana is a middle-class individual. He's a British uh, citizen. And so his life, um, is, is, he lives a very, a, a very good life. Um, and, 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 you know, he has absolutely or shows no empathy towards those that suffer these gross human rights perpetrate because he thinks that Zanu PF are going to rule forever. But the message to you, Nick Mangwana, and, you know, I, I do tweet these things to Nick Mangwana. So what I'm saying here on this platform is not a secret, it's not anything. I always tweet to, 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 to Nick Mangwana, telling him exactly how I feel about him uh, and his behavior. At one point, uh, he blocked me. Uh, and then he unblocked me. Um, and, and, and so, you know, I, I just want you to know, Nick, that your behavior is honorable and that, you know, um, ZANU-PF and the rule of the regime is going to come to an end one day. And then when that comes to an end one day, I wonder how you are going to sleep at night when you reflect back on how you, you have behaved and on how you have treated um, others. And, and also a, a message to ED, um, to the regime leader, to say, you know what, everything comes to an end. Uh, and in Shona, there's a saying, Chisinga Peri, Chino Shura. And, and, you know, when we look in the Bible, it talks about seasons. There's a time for everything, a time to mourn, a time to, uh, to be joyful, a time to be happy. Uh, and so, you know, we are in this season today where the people of Zimbabwe are suffering, uh, where they are under the yoke of Pharaoh, because that's exactly what, what it feel, feels like. Uh, but, but we know that one day we are going to be free from uh, that yoke. Uh, but, you know, going back to, 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 to the events of today and to our missing sister, uh, more blessing. Uh, we just need to continue to pray, uh, to, to um, amplify these messages uh, and, and, and to have that hope that she is going to be returned uh, back to us alive. Uh, thank you, Post. Uh, Sister uh, Patricia, before you go, sorry, I got a quick question for you. Could you mind uh, uh, reaching out to any human rights lawyers who, who could come on this space and we and interrogate this issue for us so we we get a legal and police perspective on it? Uh, yes, sure. Yeah, I can, we can do that. You know, we can get some from Zimbabwe uh, who actually understand the terrain 
uh, and the legal um, challenges that are faced with these types of, of, of cases uh, in the country, and then maybe try and identify someone from here. Uh, but I think someone from Zimbabwe would be the best person because they know uh, how things are uh, are handled and anyone from this country would probably just be speaking from a, 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 a point of explaining what the law should should look like and, and what should be happening. So so yes, um, I can go away and do that. I'm still around. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I'm still here on the platform. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Please do get us one. Uh, over to you, host. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Patricia. There. It said... Uh, that they, that people like him who have uh, managed to travel, uh, we have to see um, what human rights, uh, respecting human rights is like, can still go and be one of the worst uh, uh, people when it comes to uh, human rights. Uh, he has a free world. Yet he goes and he, uh, he ensures that he, his fellow Zimbabweans never see a free world. Uh, he sees an abduction, and what he cares about is protecting uh, uh, his party not protecting the, the, the lives uh, of the people that are involved. I, I, I don't understand such people. Uh, we'll go to Tino, uh, the village boy. Go ahead, Tino. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Zico, with the, the platform. It's uh, actually very sad to hear this uh, news of uh, more blessing. Um, and all this pin that has been uh, tried to be to be done by ZANPF people, and uh, to me that police statement that they actually released, I I'll still maintain that I think we still need a police press statement, because that one I think it, that is not a police statement. That is a political statement. I think that is coming from ZANPF headquarters, not from the police, because it's uh, to me to to call it a police statement. It's actually an insult to the people of Zimbabwe to say. How can police release such a kind of a statement when he, when a person is called, especially a person is called is abducted and is missing for that for those number for, for those days, and they were quiet all along, and then to come up with such a a, a wash statement? It's actually very pathetic and very sad to actually um have kind of a, so to me it just shows us that guys we are not we are, we are not safe and our families are not safe. In, in, in our country. So they are trying to scare everyone. This is the main purpose why they are doing this. They want to scare everyone in the country because of the elections that are coming. So it's uh, those kind of things, if you accept it and if you keep quiet. I was in another platform where I was telling people to say, guys, uh, we need to continue going on timelines everywhere where we have. We need to, to, to put this hashtag, uh, please bring back our um, are more blessing Ali because if we keep quiet and they're gonna continue doing that and they will scare everyone not to even want to support an, op an opposition that is the main purpose why they are doing this so that people will not come out and even if it's called a rally people they won't go and they don't want even people to go for to, to elections it's only them because they are doing everything that they can do to uh to, to continue uh, being in power so this kind of thing, I, we, we mustn't allow it to, to happen, especially in a country that we are saying we are in a free, um, we are in a free country, which is independent, which is uh, people have liberties and all those. But some people they actually find it um, hilarious to actually uh, threaten other people's lives like this. It's not something that is acceptable. We should condemn it all we can, and we should we should make a lot of noise. If you see yourself not actually worried about this kind of thing, um, there's also maybe something wrong with you because you might be thinking that you might, your family is safe now, so let me um, let me quiet or let me uh, take a a step back. But just to know that you are, you are, they are not safe. Tomorrow it's also it's also you. Remember, this thing happened to Itai Zamar and they go away with it. And now it's going to continue happening. And they, I think, they're going to go away with it. On Itai Zamara, they also released those kind of statements. They were brushing statements like this, these young people, saying that he has done this, he did this, there's this and that. They were talking a lot of nonsense. Until now, they, those statements, they kept on changing. 